Hello guys and welcome back to another pixelforlife.com tutorial. Today I wanted to show you guys a little uh, cool trick that uh, you might use in um, photo retouching or things like that. Uh, these are two pictures that I took with my iPhone. Uh, the quality is pretty good because they're outside pictures. And basically what we're going to try to do is uh, put the reflection of this um, telephone uh, uh, tower into the water here. Now that it putting it on the water is not that hard, but the hard part is going to be, you know, cutting it off of these little rocks and stuff like that. So it'll probably take us about five to ten minutes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, of course, you're going to have your two images, and the first thing you're going to want to do is copy the image you want to have in the water and paste it over the top. Okay. Now, you can flip them uh, this way or whatever way you want, but I'm just going to leave it alone for now because I believe it looks pretty good. And what you're going to want to do, uh, in this case, you might want to look at the different blending options in uh, different images, but on th in this specific case, Color Dodge seems to work pretty well for the actual water reflection part here. Okay, now obviously we have it over this uh, part of our... Um, rocks up here as well which we're gonna have to take care of but before we do that let's go ahead and duplicate this layer and we'll just get rid of this one for right now alright now working on this layer let's go ahead and grab our uh, erasing tool make sure the hardness is all the way down let's go to about 190 or so and we're just gonna start erasing on this image like so now uh, I'm just going to do this kind of quick and dirty uh, to save time on the tutorial, but you would definitely want to take some time on this. Alright, so we got that. Now we're going to make this a little bit smaller and just go around on this rock here, like so. And we'll go even smaller for the this rock here, it's for on this one. Let's see here, we need to get rid of it on that one. And then this one here is one of the main rocks, so we definitely need to get rid of it off that. That one, get rid of it like so. And you're just going to kind of work with it. Now, obviously, on some of these rocks, you would want to uh, zoom in onto them um, and, and erase it. But, like, you need to make sure it's actually protruding out of the water because, like, here it's not, but here it is. So you need to make sure that you're only erasing the correct ones that are actually protruding. And you can usually see by uh, whether the rock is really, really white or not uh, for whether you should be erasing the part off of it or not. All right, and that's starting to look pretty good. Let's go down here and work on these rocks. And there we go. Make this a little bit bigger. Get that rock going. That rock there needs a little bit of work with a smaller brush. So we'll just downsize that and get to work. And some of these you don't even have to worry about because they're just kind of off the beaten path. You don't even have to really uh, worry about them. But uh, And then I want to go ahead and get rid of this over here and create sort of a water line for us uh, like so okay now as you can see here um, we have the reflection strictly in the water areas now but it's a little intense I mean it just looks like wow like almost like if you were watching a blu-ray movie but uh, it's just a little bit too much so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take this opacity and we just want to bring it down slightly to something about 50% I'd say alright now I know that I, I saw this when I was doing this I need to go up here and erase a little bit more uh, from the image because that doesn't even need to be on there and you could also do stuff uh, like this and uh, make your brush bigger about like that take the flow down to about 20 percent and then you can just kind of fade out uh, certain areas a little bit at a time and it kind of gives it a ripple effect um, to make it look a little bit more realistic alright now like I said you can go in and you can play with these different uh, 
layer types and stuff but for right now this is looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, I wanna go ahead and duplicate this bottom layer here I wanna try something uh, let's go ahead and take this layer and I just want to go to overlay and you can see here that really brings out the the dark colors and then I want to just adjust that down to about 60 percent and just like that we're our image is really starting to come together now I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of all of these layers here um, copy those but this time I'm gonna merge them all together and go ahead and hide the rest and the reason I'm gonna do this is because I'm gonna duplicate that layer go to filter blur Gaussian blur do it by about two and then with the erase tool I just want to focus on this area here because I don't really need the edges so I just wanted to kind of erase those and you'll see it kind of fades it out like a depth of field look and then you can also go in and uh, you know and, uh, put those layers together and you could uh, just take away the color in this image to really give it an interesting effect but for right now I think I'll leave it so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I enjoyed teaching you. Uh, be sure to come back to pixelforlife.com or visit us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash PFL Tuts. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.